everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to do this very easy, soft, glam makeup look uh, using products that are only under rupees 500. So it's going to be super affordable. Yet I love all these products so much. They are like really, really amazing as you can totally see by the look I created. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you are someone who's new to this channel, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you like it here. I mostly do about affordable makeup, skincare, fashion on this channel. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So I decided to do a video on natural light. This is, I have no artificial lighting in my room today. And yeah, we are just going to start with the first thing. So this is the NY Bay primer. I am going to use this primer today. So this is like a very smoothening primer. I really love this a lot. I have been using it for quite some time. And even though it's smoothening, it's not like it's not going to make my skin mattifying. And I really don't want to, you know, make my skin look mattifying, but it's just going to smooth out the surface. So that is something that I absolutely love about this primer and yeah, uh, this was very very inexpensive as well. So as you can see I do have a texture, a little bit of texture in this area. So that is why I am focusing the primer mainly on this area. After that sinks into my skin, I am going to use the Flicka Blend and Shine Foundation and it's only for Rs. 399. I really like it. It gives a good amount of coverage. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, you know, it looks very good on the skin and I am in the shade Caramel. So as you can see, I didn't have to use a lot to cover up my whole face. Uh, so after this, I am going to use a concealer and for concealer, I'm going to use this NY Bay Liquid Concealer. It is has a very thin type of consistency and I really, really love that a lot. Just going to put this up on my this area as well. So as you can see after that is done i am actually going to move in with my face and this is the most affordable makeup i have right now with me this is the contour and this is from dazzler this is actually a compact but you guys know i have been talking about this so long so today in this video i am going to use this as my contour It can be a little too much, you know, just right off the bat. So make sure you take a big brush like this. I am using a BH Cosmetics brush and just blend it into your skin. It really blends very well, so you don't have to worry about that. So the next product I'm going to use is a blush. Now this is from Deborah Milano and this is in the shade Biscuit. Oh my god, I love this blush shade so much. It is like the perfect tone for Indian skin tones who have my skin tone you're going to love this blush I'm just going to use it a little bit and as you can see it doesn't have any shimmers at all it doesn't look too over matte as well it looks so good on the skin and as you guys know I'm using like natural light so that you can totally see how it looks in natural lighting it's uh, definitely a little bit pigmented not something that you know you're going to have to take time to blend out but yeah it can be said that it's pigmented enough so my face makeup is done right now and i'm going to move into my eye makeup and for eye makeup i have these sfr palette that looks exactly like the huda beauty ones but these are from sfr and the shade is so pretty now this one is in like it's the nude palette as you can see wait let me just focus it on so this is the nude palette and this is the brown, I think so yeah, caramel brown and this is the nude one. 
both of them i absolutely love the tones speak to me so for today i'm going to use both these palettes now you guys wanted a review on this i am going to talk to you about the formulation of this palette and i'm going to show you how i use it so first i'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just going to go in with this transition shade I absolutely love this formulation a lot because it's definitely pigmented but it's not something that you know you have to work very hard to blend into your skin and as you can see that you have to build it up a little bit and I think that's the best type of eyeshadow especially if you are a beginner you're going to love this eyeshadow palette as you can see that this shade is definitely showing up on my eyes. The shimmers on this palette are really good. It's not something very unique. It definitely is pigmented. And as for shimmers, they are pretty okay. I mean, they are good standard shimmers, I would say. Not something quite unique. I love the mattes a lot. And you guys know I love shimmers that are kind of a little bit on the extraordinary side. So this one, even though they have good shimmers, I personally love shimmers that have like extra pop. So for me, the mattes are the ones that I absolutely loved in this palette. Now I'm going to tap into this one and I'm just going to, you know, just deepen up my outer corners. Now we are going to dive into this palette. I'm just going to dive in uh, just a little bit. As you can see, these tones are totally winter tones. You know, this has all those caramel tones in it. This is a mustard shade, which is amazing. And this has really, really good uh, shimmer shades as well. But I'm just going to use this shadow right here and just deepen up my outer corners a little bit more. So I'm just going to take this eyeshadow uh, brush and it's the Beauty Bougie eyeshadow brush in B108. Actually, I'm mixing this shade right here with this one and I'm just tapping it inside. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going to take this shade and I'm just going to blend this on the outer edges of the eyeshadow just to give it a little bit of that mustard effect, like mustard shade effect. Again what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here and just this one and I'm just going to pat it on so that it just looks a little bit deep. As you can see, these shadows are quite pigmented. Finally, I'm going to take this bronzer shade, I'm going to take a pencil brush and I'm just going to smudge this on my lash line, like near my lash line because I really want a very cool tone type of a shade in here. So as you can see, you can see that this is like smudged up and creates a very good smoky eye kind of a situation. Now I'm just going to take a very uh, like a clean brush and just blend the edges so that it looks more blended out. So that is about it. Now I am going to put on some lashes. I'm going to show you guys which lashes I'm going to use. Actually, before moving on to the lashes, I'm using the pencil brush that already had, uh, you know, the shadow on. I'm just going to smudge this off. So now I am going to use these lashes, as you can see. These are, I got from Amazon and oh my god, these were so inexpensive. Like I got this for 400 or something like that. One pair is going to cost you so less. So you get three pairs and all of them are like exactly the same style. 
and I love it so much so what I'm going to do is you guys know the drill I am going to cut them in half and I'm going to place the small side right here in my outer corner so that it looks kind of natural as you can see just a little bit of that drama on my outer lashes that's it put on the lash I'm going to use this glue this is from Europe girl and every time I want to you know apply lashes this is the glue that I have been using So now coming on to the lips, I have this Eva Lip and Chick Tint. Oh my god, I love this as a lip, uh, you know, just, just look at it, okay? Does this not look like my skin, like just like my lips but in a very natural shade? It has this amazing pillowy kind of a uh, formulation to it which is so good it feels nothing on my lips and it totally resembles my lip color so well it just looks like I have literally no lip product on and it looks like this is my lips but in a better shade so I can live this look right here but I really want to add a gloss to it so I'm going to add a gloss now this is the Rene gloss and it's in the shade uh, not nice and nude and I'm just going to add a little bit of it just in the center so that looks good so that was it for today's look this is the look that um, I did using makeup only under rupees of 500 I'm going to show you guys a close-up of how my skin looks so this is how the makeup looks like everything you can see blended very well and it is something that I absolutely love and I use these products on a daily basis so all the makeup products I used are available on Amazon. I have provided all the links in the description. Currently, they are having the Great Indian Festive Sale where you get all these products at a really good discounted price. So yeah, links in the description box. So that was it for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. I really love this look so much. Oh my God, I just, I wear this out on a day-to-day -day basis and it's really one of the best looks uh, for me, especially because I am such a natural glam kind of a girl so yeah thank you so much for watching if you are someone who's new to my channel i'll post about affordable makeup and skincare and fashion on this channel so if you think that's a video you want to watch you can hit the subscribe button and along with that the notification bell as well so yeah i'll see you guys in my next one bye bye